How big is the universe? Prepare to have your mind blown. Ever looked up at the night sky and wondered just how far it all goes? The sheer scale of the universe is so mind-boggling, it's almost impossible to truly wrap our heads around it. Get ready for a journey to the edge of what we know, and maybe even a little beyond. Trying to understand the size of the universe is like trying to empty the ocean with a teaspoon. It's a task that quickly reveals the limits of our everyday understanding. The numbers involved are so large, they lose all meaning. Our current scientific tools, powerful as they are, can only scratch the surface. We can observe a portion of the universe, but the total size remains a profound mystery. We simply don't have a cosmic measuring tape long enough. The truth is, we don't have a definitive measurement of the universe's total size. We can only make educated guesses based on what we can observe and the laws of physics. It's a puzzle that continues to challenge the brightest minds. The observable universe is the portion of the cosmos that we can see from Earth. It's limited by the distance light has had time to travel to us since the Big Bang. Think of it as our cosmic bubble. The estimated diameter of the observable universe is a staggering 93 billion light years. That's 93 followed by 21 zeros. It's a distance so vast, it's almost incomprehensible. So what exactly is a light year? It's the distance light travels in one year, moving at a speed of 186 sata, 282 miles per second. That equates to roughly 5.88 trillion miles. Light from the most distant objects we can see has been traveling for about 13.8 billion years. This is roughly the age of the universe itself. It's like looking back in time. The age of the universe acts as a fundamental limit to what we can observe. We can only see as far as light has had time to reach us. This creates a cosmic horizon. The speed of light, while incredibly fast, is still finite. This limitation means there's a boundary beyond which we cannot see. No matter how powerful our telescopes become, it's a cosmic speed limit. The observable universe, as vast as it is, is likely just a tiny fraction of the whole. What lies beyond our cosmic horizon is a realm of speculation and theoretical possibilities. It's the great unknown. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe underwent a period of rapid inflation in its earliest moments. This inflation expanded the universe at an exponential rate. It's like blowing up a balloon in an instant. This period of inflation stretched the universe far beyond what we can currently observe. Imagine a balloon expanding so rapidly that parts of it disappear from view. That's similar to what happened in the early universe. Scientists use various methods to try and estimate the size of the unobservable universe. These methods rely on indirect observations and theoretical models. It's like trying to map a dark room using only echoes. One method involves studying the curvature of space. If the universe is curved, like the surface of a sphere, it would eventually loop back on itself. However, current observations suggest the universe is very close to flat. Another important tool is the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint radiation that permeates the entire universe. It provides clues about the universe's early conditions. Observations of the CMB suggest that the universe 
is remarkably close to being flat. This flatness has profound implications for the size and shape of the universe. It's a key piece of the puzzle. This flatness implies that the universe is either infinite or finite, but much, much larger than the observable portion. It's a choice between mind-boggling and utterly incomprehensible. The universe could be endless. Theoretical models based on the laws of physics also play a crucial role. These models attempt to extrapolate from what we know to what we don't. It's like building a bridge from solid ground to an unknown shore. One intriguing concept is that of a finite but unbounded universe. Imagine the surface of a sphere. It's finite in area, but you can travel around it endlessly without ever reaching an edge. Another mind-bending idea is the concept of a multiverse. This suggests that our universe is just one of many, perhaps an infinite number of universes. It's like a cosmic foam of realities. In a multiverse, each universe could potentially have its own unique set of physical laws. What we consider fundamental constants might be different in other universes. It's a truly wild idea. The true size of the universe remains one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. Despite our best efforts, we're still far from a definitive answer. The universe continues to hold its secrets close. One possibility is that the universe is finite, but incredibly large, far beyond our current ability to observe. It's like being on a small island in a vast ocean, unaware of the continents that lie beyond the horizon. Another possibility is that the universe is truly infinite, stretching on without end. This is a concept that challenges our very notion of space and time. It's a universe without boundaries. Advancing technology is constantly pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. New telescopes and observational techniques are allowing us to see further and more clearly than ever before. We're slowly peeling back the layers of the cosmic onion. The quest to unravel the ultimate question of the universe's size is an ongoing endeavor. Scientists around the world are working tirelessly to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. The journey of discovery continues. So what do you think? Is the universe finite, but unimaginably large, or does it stretch on forever? The answer, for now, remains elusive. But the pursuit of that answer is what drives scientific exploration. Now share this video with your friends and family and spark their curiosity about the cosmos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing explorations of science and the universe. Let's continue this journey of discovery together.